So as we take these things, then just like yoga went into the gym, you know, we tend to take these things and say, okay, oh, these are medicines, so these are medicines, this is for doctor, and these are the diseases that these medicines treat, you know. But of course, that's not at all what these things are. You know, they're not, they're not medicines in the way that antibiotics or anti-inflammatory uh, things are. You know, this, this is not something, you know, that in, 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 in every way this challenges, you know, every aspect of what we believe our med medicines are. It challenges, you know, the sort of, the, 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 the symptom, the, the idea that medicines make symptoms go away, because these are substances that usually make, increase the symptoms, you know, so, you know, it, it, it challenges uh, 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 the fact that these are medicines that the doctors themselves are supposed to take, which, you know, is sort of, you know, outrageous in our culture, <laughs> you know, and in some cases only the doctors take these medicines, not the patients, you know. These are, these are, uh, these, these, these are medicines where like any attempt to do sort of do double blind placebo studies, like, you know, sort of, you know, implodes, right? So, you know, this, you know, thing cannot be ruled out, not in the way that we do with other things. These are things, and then, and most importantly, these these are sort of plants that just sort of blow. You know, either we need to make the concept of medicine much much wider, you know, or we have to accept that these things are a lot more than medicines, because they because they because most of the people taking these plants, even in our societies, don't have a medical diagnosis. They're not the stuff of doctors not really most people are you know they don't have they wouldn't have a medical diagnosis so you know why are they taking these plants and these psychedelics well because they are engaging process of you know self-knowledge in processes of you know meaning making personal uh, sort of understanding a self autobiographical you know a spiritual development i mean i don't know you can call it a hundred names and you're still falling short of the, of the totality of what is happening here. Right. So the amputation, you know, which is, you know, the, 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 you know, one, another sort of issue that I have with the current sort of, you know, psychedelic renaissance or the medicalization of psychedelics is that it's absolute amputation of the, of the, of the, of the potential you know, and the actual uses of these substances that have always been a lot more than medicines because for other people they're sacraments, for other people they're vehicles of, you know, collective and, 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 and identity making, you know, for, you know, there's so much more. But because we are, there are so much more in areas that we have lost, you know, starting with this sort of collective community identity making thing that, you know, we, we sort of, it's been diluted, you know, it's, it, it, it's just family. You know, and, and followed by this, this sort of idea that the, you know, very, very narrow vision of what medicine is and very, very narrow mission of what doctors do, you know, or, you know, a, a broader sort of loss of the sort of understanding in which things have gotten comp compartmentalized. So religion and spirituality stands over here, medicine and therapy stands over here, and then this other thing that you, I don't know what to call it, education for adults. You know, how to live, right? This stands over here. And these for us are three completely different things with three completely different specialists. Uh, uh, and, and they never meet, you know, God forbid we're going to put together religion and, 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 and medicine, you know, or, you know, you know, and yet these substances, you know, have aspects, you know, key aspects of all of these things. At the very least, you know, I'm living here, you know, creativity, you know, a bunch of other things, you know, but, but, at, at, you know, very, very roughly, you know, we, we are presented with something, you know, that in the indigenous context, it's all of these things at the same time. It's a spirituality, it's therapeutic, and it's something, it's community, it's something that has to do with the community, and it has to do with just how the individual becomes a person. And figures out how to live, you know, with him or herself, you know, with his or her neighbors, you know, with the rest of the community, with nature at large, you know, and with their history and their ancestors and God, right? It's like, it's so broad, 
right? The sort of this, this, and then, you know, this idea of, you know, non-specific amplifiers, which is, you know, this idea I do like. I think it's very, it's a very sort of ugly scientific concept to say exactly this, you know, non-specific amplifiers of what absolutely everything, you know, potentially within the human experience, you know, such large aspects of it, you know. And now we're going to take these non-specific amplifiers and say, no, no, they're not, they're actually, you know, therapeutic tools for mental health problems. It's like, wow. You know, even <laughs> for sure they are. Uh, for sure they are. Um, I just, I, 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 and I'm happy they're going to be used as such. I would be concerned if opening that door would close all the others. Because if we decide that these are pharmaceutical drugs that only psychiatrists can prescribe, you know, to people who have a, a psychiatric diagnosis, like, you know, post, post traumatic stress disorder, long term depression, whatever, uh, if we decide that's all they are, then that's all they will become. And then people who don't have a, a psychiatric diagnosis won't have access to it. Indigenous people who have been using them for thousands of years won't be able to work with them outside of the countries because, you know, this would be medical sort of Quakerism or they would be practicing medicine without a license or, 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 or dishing prescription medicines without, you know, the proper degree, right? I mean, there's, an, there's so many sort of doors that close, you know, as that single door opens. Um, and this is and this is the this is the amputation, uh, and this is this is this is the part where this again, this sort of this dialogues with the cultures of origin with indigenous people with indigenous cultures, you know, from a very from a place of you know humility and respect, but also from a place of you know of 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 of, of, of relationship of reciprocity, can be so rich, right? To sort of again, there's you know there's a lot of lessons and wisdom there. Uh, um, if we care to learn and listen.